Hi, Chris here from Dot Product demonstrating the workflow to import a Dot Product PTS file directly into Graphisoft Archicad. So here I see my PTS file I exported directly from my DPI 8 kit. And the first step is I'm actually going to change the extension of this file from PTS to XYZ, which will import directly into Archicad. So I'm going to right click and navigate down to rename and then simply change the PTS extension to an XYZ extension and hit enter. You sure you want to change it? Yes. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up my Archicad 19 program and we can bring this file straight in. Another workflow worth noting is if you do want to crop or edit your point cloud file in a program like Recap or Cloud Compare beforehand, you can actually export it as an E57, which will also very rapidly import into Graphisoft Archicad. This tutorial is for bringing a PTS in directly, but E57 will work as well. So now I'm going to open up a new project and hit new. And this is going to be the project we can bring our file into. So it's just creating a commercial template here in Archicad. And in order to bring the file in, my first step is going to be to go to File in the top left, File Special, and Import Point Clouds. Now you'll see here to the two file format options, E57 or XYZ. So I just double click on my XYZ file and it brings up this window here. So when you are using this XYZ converted from PTS workflow, you'll notice that the RGB values do not quite line up correctly. This middle value with the thousands, uh, that's our intensity. It's currently mapped to R. So we need to switch this from 456 to 567. It's a simple step you do every time, just change it from 456 to 567, and now the XYZ and the RGB are each lined up correctly, and the intensity values are being ignored. I'll hit OK, and it's just telling me where my point cloud is going to be created for this project. I'm fine with that folder, Graphisoft Point Cloud, so I hit Create and Place. Now this takes a few minutes to process as it is a high density PTS point cloud file. Uh, this might be a little bit faster if you're using the E57 workflow, whether you uh, converted it in the DP to E57 converter or in another program. Uh, but keep that in mind, however, this is the fastest direct import from the DPI-8 straight into Archicad. And now we are given an option at the end of the import here, whether we want to specify or maintain the original uh, XYZ origin. So I'm going to just leave that as the one that I had already set on the tablet. So I'll keep that checked to place point cloud at project origin and hit OK. So now our file came in. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can see our outline from above. And then I'm going to click on the tab here to switch to 3D view, which will give me a, a 3D angle of the project that I'm slowly zooming out on here. Next, I want to be able to move this 3D point cloud around and rotate it uh, like I'm typically used to in other point cloud programs. So I'm going to go to View and then scroll down to Orbit. So there's some other 3D view options, but what I'm going to click on here is just the simple Orbit button. And now I can you know, spin my model around, zoom in and out, and drag it to the center of my screen. So next I want to make sure that everything is scaled properly uh, with this PTS file. So I right click and hit Object Selection Settings right on my point cloud directly. And here I see uh, the scaling of my project and the scale settings. Is by, de by default it's set to meters, but my PTS file was exported in inches. So I want to change that from meters to inches. And then if I look above here uh, at the dimensions of my point cloud, they should be much more accurate. I hit OK you'll see it shrink down, um, but now it is scaled properly and all my point-to-point -point measurements will be accurate. And that essentially concludes the workflow for bringing a point cloud from a DPI scanner directly into Graphisoft Archicad. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact support at .product3d.com. Thank you.